Hello Indie Game Fans, here are some new releases and 1.0 launches that I missed, with the best part being that these are all available to play right now. So let's begin with Taka Taka, a Japanese folklore themed rhythm game set in the world of yokai. Your unlikely duo must work together to survive, with the colour of the enemies being an important factor in the rhythm action and has a sick art style as well. Here's an interesting party game in the very anime a game in which you're facing off against other players in bullet hell combat, so this is not Mario Party nor Overcooked, instead being a more intense action title. Here's a surprise release out of nowhere in the Metroidvania title The Weird Dream, set in a moody ruined city in which our rabbit protagonist must explore and fight off the mutant inhabitants. You must uncover the truth behind the destruction of the city, having some sick looking combat and might just have a little bit of Hollow Knight DNA as well. A throwback looking title that hits those nostalgia notes for me is Eve Ring, a classically designed turn based Japanese style RPG set in a fantasy world which released out of early access. It looks quite nice and at the very least, doesn't use generic RPG maker assets, at least I don't think it does, and has been well received, so if this genre is your thing, perhaps give it a go. Here's an interesting detective narrative adventure game named Turlock Holmes in which you can ask yes or no questions, but the words that you use will be revealed in the blanked of spaces, unraveling the mystery and solving the case, and has quite the positive reaction so far. Any other ideas? Just a quick one here in the roguelite RPG named Crush the Industry, which released in early access back in March 2023, and after about a year, it is still not out of it, but the developers have taken into account player feedback, patching and updating the game, and even adding new content and released update 2.0. So if you checked it out at launch or were on the fence, perhaps give it a look once again. Here's an interesting title that I missed from way back in April 2023, in which Endgame of Devil is an auto-battler title that looks intriguing and did release a Lunar New Year update in February, although we might be a little late for that, but I believe the content is still in the game and is worth a look, especially since it has more than 700 Steam reviews. Another 1.0 release of interest is Chromosome Evil 2, the sequel to a game from 2022 which is not sold as well and is a self-described Lovecraft inspired RTS survival game. However, it is not an RTS in the way Command and Conquer is, 
but rather has you managing a strike team of characters to complete missions and to fight off the nightmares. So the action is in real time and there is strategy involved, but perhaps using the term RTS has confused prospective players. A 1.0 release of note is Small Land Survive the Walls, another mini character in the natural world kind of landscape that is similar to Xbox's Grounded, but instead of kids in the backyard, you play as a fantasy fairy looking creature in this larger natural world. It has some of those same ideas and concepts as Grounded, but the fantasy twist makes it different, where if you're looking for a survival game to play with friends, perhaps give this a go. Here's an excellent management sim that puts you in charge of the news, with the trailer for News Tower being excellent, so enjoy. We're on your own newspaper. Lead your employees to make today's paper the news of tomorrow. It's not about the power or the wealth. It's about telling the truth and never allowing others to influence your agenda. The truth needs you. The facts need you. The news needs you. Have you got what it takes? Then make the news your story. Join News Tower today. I have the mayor for you. Well, good morning, sir. And what story would you like me to tell today? A 1.0 release of interest is Stories from the Outbreak, a turn-based roguelite RPG that, yes, uses the overused zombie theme, but for one, it is pretty decent and is worth a look. You play as a ragtag band of survivors with unique abilities, venturing forth on a node-based map with the expected random events as well as combat, having strategic turn-based action that would be worthy of a JRPG. Here's an impressive minimalist management sim that is kind of like Mini Metro, since Real Root has you building a railway network and dispatching trains, releasing out of early access and is for fans of the genre. The gift that keeps on giving in No Man's Sky is back with his latest update titled Omega, which overhauls the expeditions in that game, integrating it into the main game itself, along with new missions, a new ship, and even a tweaking of the Atlas path in the game, with the sheer number of updates, all released for free, garnering a lot of goodwill for them and their upcoming game, Light No Fire. Here's an amazing title that has been described as Dwarf Fortress meets Dungeon Keeper, since in the sandbox roguelite Keeper RL, you play as an evil wizard that has a lair to build out, also having minions to do your bidding. You can lead them to explore the world, invade and murder innocent villagers, but also have to defend your base in what looks like Dungeon Keeper style action. It is a roguelite, so expect to die and retry, and even more amazing is that this game was an early access for something like 11 years, so I'm glad to see the developers stick it through, and hopefully the game will be able to find its fans.
A successful release so far is Duelists of Eden, a PvP spin-off of the roguelite Mega Man Battle Network Lite One Step from Eden from 2020, which was one of my favourite games from that year. I suppose it's a spin-off of that game with less features, hence why it is priced at just $5, with the PvP 1v1 action looking intense and has great pixel art animations as well, but you can play versus the CPU if competitive multiplayer is not your thing or if there's no one playing, having the now expected things like rollback netcode to provide that optimal gaming experience, so maybe it will show up at EVO someday. For more upcoming fighting games, watch this video to learn about 15 such titles.